Coach, what did we uh, witness with uh, Christian and Peyton Watson tonight? Uh, I mean, you saw two young players taking advantage of a, a golden opportunity. You know, uh, last year in the playoffs, you know, Christian got a chance to play and uh, was impactful. You know, helped us win a road game in the NBA Finals, uh, which you don't see many rookies do. And uh, what you saw Peyton Watson do is continue to show and prove, you know, why he needs to be on the floor. Six more blocks. Uh, and that stretch in that fourth quarter, <laughs> it was some of the dunks that were being performed and finished and completed. Christian Brown's left-handed dunk. I'll be honest, there were a few where I was telling them, hey, slow up, slow up, it's worth the clock. And it was just like a dunk show for a little bit. So really impressive win. Uh, we understood what was uh, at stake tonight. And as I told our players before we went out there, you know, the, the number one seed is there for the taking. And that's what you have to do. You have to go out there and take it against a very good team. And, and now the challenge is we're on a high right now because it's a very good performance, a really important win, making sure that we bring the necessary focus going down to San Antonio. Uh, but could not be more proud of our group, man. There were so many positives tonight. In that fourth quarter defense, where there wasn't a lot of defense tonight, but the fourth quarter I thought our defense was great, and I believe it's the second time against them that Anthony Edwards had zero points in the fourth quarter. Uh, and that's a testament to all five guys on the court. Um, the last thing I, I think the big key is against that team, you got to run. You know, if, you have, if you get four points in transition like we did last time in this building, you're not going to beat them. And we're able to get 19 in transition tonight. And uh, that's, that's really important to try to beat a, an elite defense like Minnesota. How's been the process for you guys, you know, rounding into the best version of yourselves? Heading into, heading into the playoffs? The process is come to work every day. Get better. Don't be satisfied. You know, uh, somebody asked before the, uh, the game, like, what's, what, what I'm most proud about? I'm most proud of the fact that as a reigning world champion, we haven't been satisfied the whole year. You, know, you got to stay hungry because we got 29 teams right behind us trying to take what we have. And uh, you need the requisite mindset, energy, focus, discipline, urgency, whatever you want to call it. And uh, tonight we had it. And uh, you know that, that was great to see from our group. And uh, I have a feeling that we're probably going to see that team again in the playoffs. And uh, it'll be a hell of a series because they're a very good team. They're well coached. And uh, they have a lot of talent over there. But for us, get better every day you know, uh, and, and not be satisfied. Stay hungry. Coach, I felt like a heavyweight bout for much of it. <clears throat> and oftentimes in those situations, it's the little lulls where the team lets go of the rope just a little bit beginning of second quarter, beginning of fourth quarter, you guys actually extended the lead without Nicole on the floor. Just how proud of you were, the, of, were you of the bench? Oh, uh, they were outstanding. You know, in the first half, they struggled to make some shots with the effort, the energy was, that was, was really where it needed to be. You know, but you know, for you know, CB, Reggie, Peyton, Justin, for those guys, and Aaron as our backup five, Aaron had nine assists tonight. Um, that's gonna be really important for us, as we all know in this room, you know, winning the non-Nicole minutes. You know, so now you don't feel like you have to play in 42 minutes a night. Um, but you know, we're, we're a deep team, we're a talented team, and that's what I loved about tonight. Like Jamal Murray, just so you guys know, like, you have no idea the, the last 48 hours since we uh, won in Utah. Uh, is he playing tonight or is he not playing tonight? And it was a battle, it was a battle. And um, he went out there and played, and I, I felt he imposed his will tonight. Uh, you have Nikola Jokic who missed four shots on his way to 41, 11, and 7. You have Michael get 18 and 8. Aaron gets nine assists, and our bench steps up. I mean, we, you beat the number one team in the West, and we close the game with Peyton Watson and Christian Brown and Jamal and Nikola and, uh, you know, and Michael Porter. So uh, it was, it was a, a really good win for us, and to your point, uh, we were able to play at a high level for the most of the 48 minutes. Was that Jamal? kind of trying to play and you guys want to be cautious or? No, no, actually he didn't want to play. I had to really, uh, I had to twist his arm. <laughs> what do you think, man? Come on. Uh, you know, Jamal came up to me on the plane ride home from Utah because, you know, with you know what he's been through, second night of a back-to-back, -back, you know, and Jamal, man, he was like a little kid, man, you know, just begging to play. And that's what I love about him. I mean, he, nothing was keeping him off that floor tonight. Nobody. And, uh, and, and, he, and, he, and he showed out. And uh, again, really good win for us, but we still have two games to go. And uh, we, we have to get on that plane tomorrow and head down to the Alamo and handle our business.
not that it's surprising at all, but what did you see from Nicole tonight as far as sort of embracing the physicality of this matchup again and meeting the moment? Oh, I think Nicole always embraces the physicality. I mean, he never shies away from it. And uh, and Rudy Gobert is going to be a Hall of Fame player one day. Rudy Gobert is going to be regarded as one of the best defenders of his generation. And it just speaks to how great Nicola is. I I don't think anybody in the NBA can guard Nicola one-on-one. And he had a stretch where he was just getting downhill. I think we took Jamal out, featured uh, Nicola, and some of his finishes, one time he finished, or even Rudy Gobert gave a look like, wow, that's, that's really impressive what he just did. And uh, again, I mean, uh, how many good things can you say about Nikola Jokic? He's, uh, he's an incredible talent. He's selfless. He's humble. And uh, thank goodness he's a nugget. Coach, can I ask him another Nikola question? Not that he needed it, but is that an MVP kind of performance on national TV against Rudy Gobert and, and a team that y'all needed to beat? Uh, I mean, I think it's been an MVP season. I mean, um, you know, this game obviously was garnering so much attention and hype. Understandably so, you have two teams tied for first. The number one seed is on the line. Division rival, they've beaten us twice. And, uh, you know, for Nicole to go out there and put up a 40-piece on, I mean, the efficiency is just insane. Um, So, yeah, hopefully the national audience will recognize greatness. And um, I think everybody defines MVP differently. You know, for me, you know, obviously Shea Gilgis Alexander, worthy. I mean, if he wins it, fully deserving. Luka Doncic wins it, fully deserving. Cannot say anything negative about either one of those players. You know, but for us here in Denver, you know, we know what we have. We have the best player in the world. And, and tonight was just another example of that. Coach, I know you've talked about it a little bit in the past, but to get 41 sellouts this year, sold out every single home game, what does that mean to you and the team based off of like what you've seen here and where the team has come from? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, I, I go back to you know, year one, and I remember you know, all the business people were saying, well, Coach, I know you're not going to want to hear this, but you got to win before they come. And uh, you know, most of the people who live in Denver aren't Denver natives, right? They didn't grow up Denver Nugget fans, a lot of them. A lot of them have been here, and I've met a lot of those people along the way and at the parade from what I remember. And um, <laughs> appreciate y'all paying attention. Um, you know, but for us to, you know, nine years in the making to get to a point where this has become the toughest place to play in the NBA. And, and yes, our players have done their job winning, playing hard, playing the right way. We're a fun team to watch. We're a fun team to root for. But that crowd, I mean, that, that tonight was a playoff game. That was a playoff atmosphere against two great teams. And obviously, when you have the ball arena crowd uh, showing up like they do, it just gives us an advantage. It gives us life. So a huge thank you, you know, uh, you know to all of our fans. I know tonight was fan appreciation night. And uh, the good thing is, hopefully, we have a lot more games uh, you know, this season to, 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 to celebrate with them. Thank you, Coach. Thank Thanks, you. everybody.